Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. And in this video, I'm going to be going through question number three from the old Solomon G C4 collection, which is in my um, P4 endotopic worksheet on binomial expansion. This is question number six from that worksheet. And we are told that the first four terms in the series expansion of 1 plus AX all to the power of N in ascending powers of X are 1 minus 4X plus 24X squared plus kx cubed, where a, n, and k are constants, and the, mag the magnitude or the modulus of a, x is um, less than 1. So we've got to find the values of a and n. So when we get to p4, we no longer are dealing with positive integer powers. We, we're dealing with negative and or um, fractional powers, in which case, we are not able to use the NCR button on our calculators. So we use a formula that is found in the formula book, which is of the form 1 plus x to the power of n equals 1 plus n times x plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial times x squared plus, and it goes on in the same pattern, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times x cubed and so on. Now in this formula, this can only be applied when there's a number 1 in this place. Okay, in our case, it's there. If there wasn't a number one, we would have to rewrite this in such a way that you'd have a number one there. In this case, we don't have to worry about that. There's plenty of videos that you'll see where that is the case that you could look up um, in the playlist. So uh, you can skip to one of those if you have an issue with that and watch that as well. Now, as for uh, this particular question, we don't have to worry about modifying this. This is exactly as it should be for us to use in this formula. Just one thing to note is that the x in our the x over here in our um, um, formula refers to whatever term is there, including the sign. So our x is going to be ax. Okay, so our x is basically ax in our expansion. All right. So what we can do is we can see that the first term is one. That's going to be quite obvious. That doesn't that won't help us. But the second term, the x term is for is negative 4x. So the next term is going to be, the x term is going to be given by negative 4, okay? And that's going to be equal to n times x. Now, n is the power, which we don't know, but x is ax, so it's n times ax. So if we consider the, the x coefficient, okay, it's going to be, as we say, say negative 4x. So negative 4 is, equal to be, is going to be equal to n times ax, okay? If I write out the expansion, let me write it out a few few terms and then it'll become clearer. So if I write out the expansion for 1 plus ax to the power of n according to this pattern, you'll have 1 plus n times ax plus n times n minus 1 over 2 factorial, which means 2 times 1 times ax all squared plus, and because I got the x cubed term, I'll write the x cubed one as well, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial, which means 3 times 2 times 1, ax cubed. Okay, now comparing the coefficients of the x's, okay, in what we have to show, which is this one here, okay, you can see that the x coefficient here is minus 4, and the x coefficient here is going to be n times a. Okay, so in fact, if we just simplify this a little bit, just to make it clearer, this will be a times nx, a times nx, plus you'll have n times n minus 1 over 2 times a squared x squared, okay? And we'll leave the rest of it for later. But basically, we can see that the coefficient of x in our expansion Okay, if I just highlight it, the coefficient of x in, in our expansion has to be the same as that. So a n basically has to be the same as minus 4. So a times n is equal to negative 4. That's comparing the x coefficients. Okay, we can also compare the x squared coefficients. If I see here, the x squared coefficient is going to be 24, positive 24. And here, the x squared coefficient is going to be all of this. That's the x squared coefficient. So we can see the x squared coefficient is going to be n times n minus 1 over 2 a squared, and that has equal that has to equal 24. 
So I can use some sort of substitution now to try to find the value of a and n. I have two equations, okay, with you know two unknowns. So for example, um, if I want to find n first, I can make a the subject of this and replace the a with what it is in terms of n. So I could say a is equal to minus four over n. Okay, and I can replace the a here with minus 4 over n. So let's do that. We have n times n minus 1 over 2, and you're going to have minus 4 over n, and that's going to be squared equals 24. So what that leads us to? We'll have n times n minus 1 over 2, and that'll be times 16 over n squared equals 24. So if you simplify this, you have n... Um, times n minus 1, okay, equals, and you can say that's going to cancel with that, give you 8, is equal to 24n squared. Here you'll have 8n. So you have 8n times n minus 1 equals 24n squared. And if you simplify this, you have 8n squared minus 8n equals 24n squared. You can bring the n squares together. So you have 24n squared minus 8n squared equals negative a n okay and we can simplify this let me just get rid of this stuff here okay so now we have like a quadratic equation we can um that's going to be 16 n squared um, plus 8 n equals zero divide by 2 2 n squared plus n equals zero so we have n times 2n plus 1 equals 0. So either n is 0 or n is negative a half. Now, we know that n, n can't be 0. Okay, a and a constants. And we know that, of course, if n is 0, then, you know, it'll be, this whole thing won't equal anything except for 1. Right, so n can't be 0, so n is negative a half. All right, and therefore we can find what a is. Now, we know that a n equals negative 4. So we know a times n equals negative 4. So we can say that a is equal to uh, negative 4. We can just even write it like this. Easier. Just say, you know, a times negative a half equals negative 4. So multiply both sides by negative 2. a is equal to 8. Okay, so we have n equals negative a half. And a equals 8 are our two um, values of n, a, n, n. And now we want to find what um, k is. Now, k is the coefficient of x cubed. Now, we know what a and n are now. So it's 1 plus a was 8. So it's 8x and n was negative a half. Okay, so now we can um, work out what this, the third term is. So we have, the you know, we've got 1 plus nx. And the third term will be n, or the uh, x cubed term will be n, times n minus 1 times n minus 2 over 3 factorial times, and you're going to have a x, and that's going to be, in fact, this is going to be this is going to be here. Um, yeah, I'll just, this is going to be 8 x, and that's going to be cubed. Okay, so now And we know the value of n is minus a half, so we can just put that straight into there. You can say k is going to equal a minus a half. Minus a half minus 1 is minus 3 over 2. Minus 3 over 2 minus 1 is minus 5 over 2. Over 3 factorial, which means 3 times 2 times 1. And you're going to have your 8 cubed. And of course, you're going to have your x cubed as well. But I'm just looking at the k you know, the k coefficient, so I'm going to leave out the x cubed part, just looking at what the value of k would be, and that's that's going to give us the value of k. So when we um, simplify this, um, that 3 will cancel with that 3 over there, so you're left with a minus, so we negative times negative times negative, negative 5 over, that's going to be 16, because you're going to have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and then you're going to have multiplied by 500 and 12 8 cubed okay so so 512 is that right just make sure 8 cubed 
Yeah. So 512 times 5 and divided by 16. That gives us 160. So th therefore, k is equal to negative 160. Okay, so we just worked out the x cubed coefficient. Once we found the value of a and n, and just put it into the formula for this term over there. Minus a half times minus 3 over 2 times minus 5 over 2 over 3 times 2 times 8x all cubed. Okay, so we've answered question. Pretty straightforward question, actually. Uh, one of the students asked me to answer this, so I did so. Um, I hope that was clear. Other questions from this particular Solomon paper will be found in the playlist over here. Um, other questions from this uh, end of topic worksheet on binomial expansion, I'll put in the playlist the link will be linked over here. And other questions from binomial expansion from P4 in general will be in the playlist that you can find in this section. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching. See you soon.